A Denver judge says it's wrong for the health department to put limits on the number of medicinal marijuana patients a caregiver can help. Good afternoon, everyone. Damien Legoy has HIV. He has been prevented from getting marijuana from one caregiver, and that's because a rule restricts how many patients each caregiver can help. Well, today a judge ruled in the 47-year-old man's favor, and 7 News reporter Hendrick Sabrandi is live in Denver. Hendrick, I understand the judge's comments in this case were pretty blunt. Yes, they certainly were, Mike. Uh, judge Larry Knaves said the state health department had engaged in an abuse of discretion, that its five-patient limit was arbitrary and capricious and enacted without any input from the public. These are the dozen or so medications that Damien Legoy uses to battle hepatitis C and HIV. The drugs often leave him feeling nauseated. I just double up sometimes, fetal position. I can't even get, I, mean, I barely made it today. One tonic for the nausea is marijuana. Under Colorado law, Lagoy is eligible for medical marijuana, but he's having a very hard time getting it. We're in court today because I need somebody to provide that for me. I cannot grow it at home. I don't have the means. I don't have the room, uh, the expertise. He'd like his friend Daniel Pope to be his marijuana supplier, but a state policy put in place several years ago prevents caregivers like Pope from helping more than five patients at one time. What has happened is that they go around and accumulate a lot of patients. We're growing a large amount of marijuana, and there's simply no audits or accountability to make sure this is only being utilized by uh, medical marijuana patients. Today, Lagoy's lawyers told a Denver judge the five patient limit is arbitrary and unfair. It has the real effect of limiting safe access to medical marijuana uh, for patients like, like Damien. Uh, Lagoy said a defeat in court would be devastating. I'm at a loss. Die, I suppose, is about the only thing left. So now Lagoy becomes his friend Daniel Pope's sixth patient. This afternoon, Judge Naves, uh, Naves issued a preliminary injunction. Uh, the lawyers for Lagoy will now ask for a summary judgment that would, in effect, make that injunction permanent. That would avoid a trial later this fall. Live in Denver, Hendrick Sobrandi, 7 News. Can we go back a couple of steps here? I'm, I'm wondering why Lagoy couldn't get the marijuana from another caregiver. There are hundreds of them, aren't there? That's right. Uh, some 636 caregivers right now, 550 of them have just one patient, but apparently this is very much of an underground kind of system. Uh, these caregivers don't advertise, so it's very difficult to find out who's actually growing this marijuana. It's also uh, potentially very dangerous for them to make themselves public, so that's why Lagoy has been relying on this friend of his to try to provide the uh, marijuana to him. And Judge Naves has stepped in now, and uh, some changes are on the way, it looks like. That's right. All right, thanks a lot. Yes. Okay. Tonight, a Colorado judge ruling against a state law. I'd like to thank the judge for probably, very possibly at least, saving my life. What decision the judge reached today that could bring a major change to Colorado? A Denver man is told he can choose, not the state, where he'll buy his medical marijuana. The court's ruling against the law that limits the number of patients each grower supplies. Fox 31's Charlie Brennan joins us live from Denver. Charlie? Libby, today's ruling may save the life of one man, and for now, it rewrites the state law on how medical marijuana is to be provided to those who need it. These are the AIDS meds. Damien Lagoy has AIDS and hepatitis C. To survive, he has to take these pills. These are the ones that fight the virus. If you miss a couple of doses, they stop working. And to handle the resulting nausea, he needs this. The grower Lagoy chose as a supplier already was providing pot to five users. The state told Lagoy that five was the legal limit. And we're uh, filing a suit against So the he and his lawyer took the state to court. The state adopted this arbitrary policy saying that five is enough. You know, it's, it's tantamount, tantamount to uh, saying a doctor can only serve five patients. The five patient limit was not part of the medical marijuana law passed by voters in 2000. It was policy set by state health officials in a closed meeting. The number five really was just pulled out of the blue. After a five hour hearing today in Denver District Court, a judge ruled in Lagoy's favor. For now, he and all medical marijuana users can get what they need from any provider they choose. I'd like to thank the judge for probably, very possibly at least, saving my life. Lagoy is also happy his victory should help other people in his situation. I used to be a nurse's aide in nursing homes, so helping people has always been in my nature at the same time for helping for myself. Now, a spokesman for the Department of Health told me today off camera that in light of today's ruling, they will be revisiting their policies on this issue. Libby? Fox 41's Charlie Brennan, live tonight in Denver.